Hey, how's it going everybody? Coach Kyle here, and this is a quick review of the Nike Wild Horse 5. Um, obviously, it's a trail running shoe. So this is my first trail running shoe, actually. Uh, I wanted, actually, I, I wanted a pair of shoes that um, would kind of double as a hiking, off-road, walking shoe so I don't have to wear my chucks to, like, go on a walk or something um, but didn't want to wear my running shoes either and a friend bought these I thought they were super cool looking yes I bought a pair of shoes based on looks but they're also incredibly comfortable um, I've said my Kinvaras are the most comfortable shoe I own these are a very close second uh, they are $110 I signed up at backcountry.com with a to create a new account and then I got a discount they give like 20% off your first uh, full price order at backcountry.com and that's pretty common so there's no reason to buy these you don't have to buy these full price you know sign up somewhere for the first time get 10 20 percent off um, the drop is about 28 to 20 millimeters so it's about an 8 millimeter drop I took out the insole to free up some space so uh, and I've ran with these without the insole there's a little bit of stitching but totally can't feel it if I were to do a longer race I would put the insole back in to have a little more secure fit but just for slipping these off and on to go to the coffee shop, to go for a three mile trail run, whatever, totally fine without the insole. Um, it's a heavier shoe, it's about 10 ounces, but the reason for that is the upper is super plush and soft. Um, just a nice, soft, comfortable upper. It's a very wide shoe actually too. Nike gets a bad rap for having narrow shoes, but I mean, if you were to uh, I have a box. There's a box somewhere. Oh, it's in there. My my Vaporfly 4% very narrow. I can feel it along the, the the little toe. These nice and wide. Um, if you want, if you like wide shoes, I think you'll be okay in these. Not in the Vaporflies, but you'll be okay in these. Um, super tractiony. Like I danced in these for seven hours a couple weeks ago, and they did awesome for dancing too. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I, I don't have anything bad to say about these. They, they do hold water pretty well, but um, you know, what, what are you gonna do? So part of the having that soft, super plush upper is that it's gonna hold water in that material a little better, a little worse. So that's one thing to consider, but um, you gotta run through the streams anyway, people. So if you're looking for a good looking, you know, if you want like an athleisure shoe to wear at a coffee shop, to wear on some hikes, I think this is this is a bomb ass looking shoe. Um, they have other colors too, and then they have the Kyger, which has a rock plate in it, and they have the Peg Peg Turbo 36 trail version now, um, and that's just like a that would be um, a, like a fast trail running shoe. I would I would wear I would absolutely wear this if I was going to do the ultra that I did last spring, uh, 100k on very rocky hilly terrain. I would wear this uh, absolutely 100%. So that's what I got. Great shoe. Um, like, yeah, go to backcountry.com. I think I got it for 20% off there. So if you've worn it, uh, or if you've worn the Kyger or the new Peg Turbo, the trail version, you know, I would love to hear some comparisons between this and those two. But I went with this one. Super glad I did, and I think you will be too.